Whoa! Poor little popcorn kernel can't take the pressure! Well guys, today is gonna be a rough one. Today YouTube has hit the lowest low that I think they have ever hit in the entire time this website has been a thing. And honestly, I didn't think we'd see it. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last week, or, uh, well, I guess have better things to do than worry about what's going on between two YouTubers, I'm sure that you are aware of what is going on between Sniper Wolf and Jax Films. If you are not, and you just decided to click on this video because you thought I was a pretty cool and neat guy. Firstly, good intuition. But secondly, do not fret, I will give you a brief rundown of what I am talking about. If you want to see any of the things that I'm about to say expanded upon, I will link a couple of videos in the top right corner. I've made two videos on this situation so far, and everything you're about to hear is talked about in more detail in those videos. But basically, SS Sniper Wolf is a very large YouTuber here on YouTube. I think she is just outside the top 100 for most subscribed channels of all time, so she is a pretty big name. She's been around forever and has tried to do a bunch of different kinds of content. But over the last few years, she has mainly done reaction videos where she watches TikToks and then basically adds nothing. On top of not really adding a whole lot to the videos or adding anything meaningful, you know, a reason for her to be watching them, she also has a bad habit of not crediting who she's getting these TikToks from. Now, observing this, Jax Films, another very notable content creator that I'm sure you've heard of, decided to call her out on it. And he did so by making a second channel where he would go through these videos that she made, and pretty much just point out how little she's adding to these videos. This then kind of snowballed into a whole thing about her not ever crediting who she's getting these videos that she's reacting to from, and Jack's film sort of leading this charge to get her to quote credit the creators, which led to a lot of people finding out that Sniper Wolf was reacting to their content. And a lot of these people ended up copyright claiming these videos, which obviously was not good for Sniper Wolf. Now on top of this, at the same time, Jack was pretty much single-handedly changing the way the internet looked at Sniper Wolf. A lot of people had kind of just forgotten about about her, written her off as this OG YouTuber who's now just doing easy content for money, but in the span of a few short months, the internet kind of turned against her. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, Sniper Wolf was not a fan of this. They had words back and forth on Twitter, you know, the normal internet beef kind of stuff, and they both kept making their videos. Sniper Wolf, her TikTok reactions, and then Jack dunking on said TikTok reactions. Now, this was a pretty notable feud on the internet, a lot of people were talking about it, but I think most people thought this is kind of where it would end. Either eventually, Sniper Wolf would listen to Jack and she would try and credit the creators, or Jack would just get bored of making these videos and he would stop and then they would just not like each other and maybe occasionally roast each other on Twitter. This is not what happened though. On Friday the 13th, Sniper Wolf showed up outside of Jack's film's home, recorded a video of it and then posted it onto her Instagram story where she has over 5 million followers, doxing Jack's films to millions of people. Now obviously, this was a big deal. This woman decided the best course of action for dealing with someone who was saying something about her that she did not like was to go out of her way and show up to his home and dox him. This is a YouTuber with millions upon millions upon millions of followers who are mostly impressionable children who just committed a crime against somebody because of some YouTube videos. Now when this happened, everyone was rightfully calling for Sniper Wolf to be deplatformed. Myself and millions of other people pointed out how dangerous of a precedent this would set if Sniper Wolf was not punished for what she did. If Sniper Wolf could get away with this, it would show that content creators are no longer safe to criticize people on YouTube. That you could dox somebody to the millions of followers that you have gained from YouTube with no consequences whatsoever. So obviously, when this happened, people were calling for her to be banned. And most people, including myself, thought that was the absolute least that YouTube could do. Now for multiple days, up until today as I'm recording this, yesterday for you guys, YouTube was completely silent. They didn't acknowledge this happening, they didn't really say they were looking into it, not a word was said about this entire situation. Now this led to a lot of people being kind of angered by YouTube's silence, understandably so I think. So to kind of nudge YouTube along and give them a bit of motivation, people started to dig on Sniper Wolf, see what else was on YouTube that she's managed to get away with. And my god, the dig was successful. Now I talk about all this in more detail in my last video I made on Sniper Wolf. If you want the full rundown on all this, I would recommend you go and give that video a watch because this video is mainly about YouTube's response. But just to give you an idea, people found videos of her encouraging 
encouraging children to twerk for her on camera, and in exchange, she would show them her breasts. People found her old mugshots from when she was arrested for disorderly conduct for fighting in public and armed robbery, videos of her being blatantly racist, and the list goes on. Now you would think, with all of this evidence piled against her, especially the doxing and the twerking thing, YouTube would be happy to take a person like this off of their website. Well, unfortunately, we have seen YouTube's response at this point, and it's not happening. In response to everything I just talked about and more, YouTube thought an appropriate response was confirming SS Sniper Wolf has received a temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. And that's it. Sniper Wolf committed a felony, showed up to a fellow YouTuber's house and released his address to millions of people, displayed disgusting behavior around minors, and she gets a temporary monetization suspension, which could be a day, a week, probably not that long. I think honestly, even with that considered, the worst part of this response is the both sides part. Behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. What did Jack do? Have a home? Have an address? Not have a shield around his house that prevents people from filming it? Jack has done nothing but criticize what is objectively low effort content made by a person who does not credit anybody that she gets her videos from. Grounded constructive criticism is in no way, shape, or form even in the same realm as doxing. This is one of the most disheartening and disappointing things I've ever seen while being on YouTube, because I genuinely thought YouTube was gonna do the right thing here. I felt like they had no option. I mean, I genuinely thought Sniper Wolf was gonna get banned. I thought it might take a couple weeks because that's a big decision, but I thought that was gonna be the outcome. This is not even a slap on the wrist. This is one of the most egregious examples of corporate favoritism I've ever seen. YouTube is so afraid of hurting their brain and that they have now set a precedent that stalking and doxing is allowed on YouTube. Just as long as you're big enough. As long as your name might pop up when they're negotiating advertisement contracts with big companies, and they say, hey, look at the views this person gets, she's family friendly. As long as you're in that conversation, you can do whatever you want. Because they don't want to double back on all the things they've said. I don't know what else this could be. I mean, Sniper Wolf makes a ton of money on YouTube and in turn for YouTube. But let's be real here, people. Google is not exactly struggling for profit. Sniper Wolf's contribution to their profits is negligible. I think this is about the YouTube brand. I think Banning, who has been established as this huge family-friendly YouTuber, is just too scary for them. I don't think it really has anything to do with money. I think it's just the brand image they're trying to protect. They want to sweep this under the rug, try and appease the people mad about it, but they don't want to do anything to actually affect the image of Sniper Wolf and in turn YouTube. And I think this is basically irrefutable when you take into consideration that within the hour this response was posted, so was Sniper Wolf's public apology, which honestly might even read worse than YouTube's response. Let me start by saying I am sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm sorry to Jack's film, YouTube, the entire creator community, and my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Jack's film, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I am sorry for reacting the way I did when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately, not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be solved. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. I deserve it. Respect Respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. Wow. That's awful. So first off, whoever wrote this, I'm assuming some random attorney she found, didn't even address the right guy. It's Jack's Films, not Jack's Film. You think someone would have looked over this. And the way it reads, it's like she didn't even explain the situation properly to the poor guy writing this. I mean, talking about how we should resolve conflict not for views. Either she explained the situation incorrectly or she is admitting that she Docs to person for YouTube views. Epic prank, right? And then the icing on the cake, calling this a lapse in judgment. That whole phrase, a lapse in judgment, sort of implies like a quick isolated incident. I don't know how many times your judgment lapsed while driving to Jack's house and then filming it, but it lapsed enough and for long enough that the next day you made a joke about it on your Instagram story. I mean, I think it would have honestly been more respectable for Sniper Wolf to have come out and said like, yeah, I did it. What you gonna do about it? I mean, this is the most robust 
idiotic chat GBT-esque apology I've ever seen. She's not sorry for this. She got a slap on the wrist and then was sent on her way. There's no remorse here. I mean, this is a ukulele away from making Colleen Ballinger look like Mr. Rogers. Why do YouTubers even issue apologies anymore, especially with situations like this? Oopsie whoopsies, I committed a felony. Sorry for leaking your address, pal. Just a silly little lapse in this thinker oh mine. I'm sure you can understand. Now look, I know I'm joking, but this is seriously a scary moment in YouTube's history. I mean, YouTube has just signaled to their top thousand or so creators that if somebody ever makes a video about you that you don't like, you can dox them as long as you're willing to take a week or two without making any ad revenue. YouTube, whether you like it or not, that's what you've said. Great way to keep the millions of creators who make billions of dollars for you feeling safe on your website. Really appreciate it. Well guys, what are your thoughts on this entire situation? I feel like we've completed the trilogy here. I think unfortunately this is where it ends. YouTube has not really been known to go back on their decisions, so I think this is it. Sniper Wolf gets a slap on the wrist, Jax Films gets doxxed, and that's the end of the story. I feel like now I am at danger of Doorman or Jax Galfani showing up at my doorstep, so uh, that is really cool. I appreciate that, YouTube. Love you too. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe. Toxic gossip train. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation.